As more and more people have gotten interested in bushcraft and woodcraft and outdoor stuff over the last several years, one piece of gear that has made a real comeback is the haversack or shoulder bag, or as my friend Magnus Anderson calls it, the little bag. Um, on this video, we're going to take a look at 10 different choices of military surplus bags that can make great haversacks for you, all from the folks at Sportsman's Guide and all under $20. Some of them as low as $3. I'm talking about something like this or maybe some, something like this. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. Like I said, haversacks have become a really popular bag. Um, it seems like they've really regained in popularity. I think it's because they're very handy. I mean, I've got one that I really, really like, and it's also fairly expensive. It's, clo it's, it's closer to 100 than it is to 20, I'll put it that way. So I reached out to one of my sponsors, Sportsman's Guide, and took a look at their military surplus section and picked out 10 different style bags that are all under 20 bucks that I think might make great haversacks or shoulder bags or little bags or whatever you want to call them. And they were kind enough to send them to me and to sponsor this video. And sight unseen, just off the website, I picked them out. So we're going to open them up together, take a look at them, show you the details of the bags where you can kind of get an idea of, of maybe which bag is which. And also, you can get an idea of the quality and what to expect from military surplus stuff from Sportsman's Guide. And I've got some that are used, some that they say like new, which basically means used but in great shape, hopefully. And some that are new, you can kind of compare the differences. But all of these are under $20. Some of them are as low as $3 if you buy them in a package. I think the most expensive item here is like six for 32 bucks. So even though if you buy six of them, that's five bucks a piece. So anyway, Without me rambling any further, let me uh, take you down to the old tabletop here and we'll get to looking at some of these bags. And amongst the rambling, I'll tell you a little bit about Sportsman's Guide if you're not familiar. Because they are a channel sponsor and I've been a customer for quite a few years. So anyway, let's uh, get to it. Okay, so I decided not to go to the old tabletop because it's easier just to hold them up for you. So we're going to start with the lowest price one and that's the uh, Polish used shoulder bag. And six of these is 18 bucks. So that's a good price. Here it is. As you see, these are used. So these are three bucks a piece. Um, and it was, I thought it was pretty cool, really. If you look on the front of this one, it's still got the uh, soldier's name or whoever's name on there. So I don't know if you can see that. If, if you can read Polish, you might can tell who this belonged to. But it's just a, uh, it's a shoulder bag here. I'm going to say this is about 10 by 12 and about three inches thick. If you look inside, it's got uh, a pocket here another pocket here and a bigger pocket in the front and that's it it's a you know i'll call this one a medium sized bag it's got a couple of belt loops on back you can put this on your belt if you choose to it has a little button pocket on the side and about that big and then the uh flap on it closes with a little buckle here like a, just a, a little strap buckle like so and so again, this one's kind of kind of dirty, kind of definitely used looking, but it's also three bucks. And it's got like a one inch wide strap that is sewn on, so it does, it's not removable. So just real quickly, we'll take a look at the rest of them just to see. Just kind of give you an idea of what they all look like. This one, and there's um, it's also like a little clip on back. You could hang something. They all have that. Um, same thing here. I guess there's a little strap in here with a button on it. That I didn't see on the other one. Is it on the other one also? Yep, it's on the other one too. So they, they both they both got that. So same pockets, same everything. So yeah, these are all all the same, and they're uh, about the same condition. So uh, that's that's the um, the lowest price ones at three dollars a piece or six for seventeen ninety nine. So next we'll take a look at a Swiss bag that is two for fifteen twenty nine. So about seven fifty a piece or something like that, and here is the Swiss bag, and it is a little different design here. You can see the shoulders, the shoulder straps are actually on the side of it, and then it it is kind of got an angle here. It's got a little snap there, and another snap there. So pretty good size bag there. What's different about this one is it, it kind of hangs sideways. So. Uh, that's pretty pretty different and it has a, a little 
belt loop thing here that just got a snap on the bottom of it and inside there's a big big you can see it's pretty good that's probably 12 by 12 by 14 or so that way there's a big pocket here there's a, a little pocket over here on the side right there there is a or there are a uh, something here i don't know what that is to be honest with you some kind of little little maybe it's an ammo pouch or ammo pocket a little pocket right here and another pocket on the back side here a small pocket so a little bit of organization inside so anyway um there's the swiss shoulder bag uh, a little bit different uh snaps on the side but you can get a good a good idea of the quality of this and this bag is completely in great shape there's no tears no holes no um everything works probably need a little bit of grease maybe on the snaps but they work it just took a little effort to get them started then um the other one in the bag is the same there's that okay let's take a look at a new pouch like i said we're opening these up together kind of look at them and see what they are this was a dutch gas mask bag and first of all i'll just say the strap on this thing i'm not really sure how it's supposed to work i think it's got a shoulder strap and then it also will go around your waist it's got a waist belt and they're connected together so if you're going to use this as a haversack you probably want to just like cut one of them loose or break this cut this loose or and use this and clip these little d-rings or little loops into the velcro here and they got little velcro things here and those are either belt loops or shoulder straps and then um this thing has got a velcro closure here and it's a big big bucket here very very nice plenty of room in there and then it just seals up like so and it has a another snap pocket on the, on the outside of it that is i don't know it's just big enough i can put my hand in the whole thing like so there's about three little pockets inside if you can see that and then there's another velcro pocket on the outside and this thing is about three inches by you know 12 by 12 or something like that and this one by the way is 13 dollars and 49 cents so not a bad deal for a a really nice new bag i gotta say i think the ability to put this thing on your waist could come in handy if you don't want to use it like a traditional haversack could be a really handy bag but anyway I mean, one of the things i just want to do is kind of take a look at these together and see what's what so that's what the uh that's what a dutch gas mask bag looks like let's look at another one before it gets dark well here's one that says like new uh, so it's used but it's, it's like new should mean it's in really good condition this is a russian shoulder bag from our comrades over in the uh, soviet union i guess and i mean I, this may be post soviet union i don't know the dates on this thing but this is just a a, a cotton bag it is well, you can see it in front of me how big it is, right? So it's about 12 by 12 or so. But this one's got a couple little, a couple little pockets in it. Another little button pocket there. Then a pretty good sized pocket right here. Then it has a little leather buckle here. It's got about an inch and a half shoulder strap on it. This is very, very lightweight, thin material. Um, it looks like it's in really good shape. No tears. Uh, maybe some little stains and stuff on it, but really good shape and then it has a pocket a button pocket on the outside here and then a, a d-ring here and this actually has a, a little clip on it a, just a little little clip that this is a, apparently this is for a waist belt as well so if you don't want that you can just cut that off but this is the russian bag and it is like new for 15 dollars and 29 cents and i think this will make a great haversack so next we're going to look at a two-pack of italian surplus shoulder bags these are two for $13.49. These are really, really more along the line of a very traditional plain haversack. They have a very thick non-adjustable shoulder strap that is sewn on one side with bar, st bar stitching and the other side is um, bratted on with some brads and rivets. Inside there is one big old pocket, which is uh, very, very traditional for a haversack. And this thing's about, what's that, about three, three and a half inches wide by about 12 by 12 ballpark. The dimensions will be on the website. And then the fast thing is just a cloth buckle strap. So there's that. Looks like there may have been some patching that was on here that was removed. But other than that, these are in really good shape. They're, there's no tears in them, no major stains on these. They're, uh, 
I mean, they're used, but they, the stitching's still in good shape. Everything looks good. So you can get two of these for $13.50. So that's the Italian military surplus. I don't know about you, but this is kind of, kind of interesting to me because I was really curious to see what these things actually, um, you know, look like in person, so to speak. So the first one we looked at were the Polish bags that were six for like $18. This one is one for $18. It is a Polish surplus military, but actually it's a lot heavier bag. And you can see this one's in really good shape too. It's got these... Uh, extra little straps over here that you can you can put a, a bed roll or something in it's got some little some loops back here you can fasten some too it's got a a hand hold here i like that um, inside a very very thin rudimentary clip-on shoulder strap which is good but it's adjustable and then on the outside there are a couple little little tiles here you can tie a bed roll or something on tie something on it again got this back here there's a couple of small pockets on front right here. And then on the inside, there are, is a big compartment on one side, pretty good size. Another good size apart compartment on the other. A couple of little tiny pockets over here for small stuff. Then you could put a uh, lighter or something in there. That one's a little deeper there. And a couple of more pockets up here. And all those pockets have snaps. So this could be a really handy bag. I like the organization in this bag. So, so again, this one's used, but very, very good shape for 18 bucks. So here's another used one, canvas, pretty heavy duty from the Dutch from the Netherlands. And this one is, this one's about $15.30. And sort of similar to the last one we looked at the post, really, really heavy canvas, heavy duty canvas. This one has straps that have a little wide little wide shoulder area here no exterior pockets on this one a couple of buckles back here and on the back that you could use maybe to tie stuff to and then a little couple of loops on the side here one here one here you can tie stuff to and then on the inside there's a big pocket here that's about you see how sturdy that is and a couple of small dividers here that you could either use or just pop that down and flap it and then it's got a little fold over here just to kind of keep everything contained when it's closed with these two buckles another little loop right here this one's really really heavy duty it's got these little extra strap back strap things back here i have no idea what they're for again this is 15 dollars and 30 cents for a very sturdy very solid um little bag we're almost done okay we've got a, a couple more and then we've got a couple of waterproof ones i want to show you two different grades of the military surplus so the next one we're going to look at is the most expensive pack um there's six of these it's 32 bucks for it but this is from um bulgaria and there's there's they are like new it says in good shape and let's just take a look at these these are very very basic simple little cloth bags but they are in very good shape they have a uh, little buckles on them here so these uh, again are very very basic they're just a, a, a pretty thin cloth bag really good shape no no pockets just a big basic haversack style and one buckle in the front a simple sewn on shoulder strap six of these for 32 bucks or so so that's going to be about a little over five dollars a piece and they're in really really good shape let's see but now here's one in here that looks a little worse. It's got a little, little, little worse for wear there, but uh, the buckles seem to work, seem to be fine. And the uh, shoulder straps a little dirty on this one. This one's, this one's, this one's kind of, kind of grungy looking. Now it might have slipped through the crack there, but uh, it's military surplus, so you, you know you're gonna be, you're gonna wind up with some of that. So all the rest of them seem very, very good. Now we got another a new one. This is a German military shoulder bag, and this is a new one, and. I gotta say, this is by golly pretty cool. So, first of all, let's just uh, show you. It's traditional, it opens at the top, it's got an adjustable shoulder strap that clips on with these little metal clips here. And then it has a couple little tabs back here. You could tie something on when you open the, uh, how do we open this? Oh, open the flap up like so. And it's got two buttons here that connects here so you can keep it from coming up up too high on you and then there's another button here which covers this which you can kind of keep it closed even better and then on the inside there's a big pocket back here and another pocket in the front and then up here there's a little hook that you can clip i guess you can clip this on something whatever you want to just to hang it up which i think is a pretty cool deal and again this is german military surplus but it is new it's 15 dollars and 30 cents so i mean bottom line you can get a brand new 
military grade, very nice bag that makes it would make an excellent, excellent haversack for under 16 bucks. Pretty good deal there. That's the German new one. So, which brings us to the last and final bag, the one you've been waiting on, right? So this one, I've got two different versions of this bag, which is a Czechoslovakian rubberized waterproof bag. And we've got used, and then we've got like new. And they are the same. So first, let's take a look at the bag. We'll show you the used one. I'll show you, we'll start, you know, no, no tricks here. So it has a little carry handle on top, which is pretty cool. Uh, it has this little, little thingy duty back here. Um, flap that comes down over the front with two buckles. And then inside, we have a little storm flap here over a couple of nylon type pockets in here. We have a uh, big, big, big pocket in here. And it smells kind of like used rubber. And then this thing actually has a flap here that goes over with a buckle that you can put on this way. And then you put this over and you, and you buckle it down here and it's rubberized. Now it's not submersible, it's not a dry bag, but if you, but if you got these flaps all in here and you're in the rain, it's gonna keep your stuff dry. And so this is the used one. We'll take a look at these. And you can see it's just got some probably mildew because it's because it's been wetter from storage. So there's three of these the used quality, I guess. They all got some kind of mildew white white markings on them, basically. But they all are in great shape as far as the actual structure and construction of them. And there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, actually, there's a pocket I didn't notice before on that flap. There's a pocket on this one too on the inside. So I guess you could stick some stuff in there. And then here is the like new. And you can see they're just they're not they're not as dirty looking the interior looks about the same on them there's not as no stains there or whatever but you can see it's got that big and big big interior there two of these is fifteen dollars and 39 cents so basically you get one less for the same price because of the quality difference it's a little bit nicer on these so but other than other than the uh, little bit of exterior staining a little bit of a little bit of you know cosmetic differences they're both really good although i gotta say these are um these look they say like new and they do look almost like new to me the uh shoulder strap on these now is is sewn in but it's not very thick it's a very it's a probably three quarters of an inch or so probably millimeters comrade but you know we're gonna call it three quarters of an inch so got a little handle on top so there's that <laughs> and that is uh that's all of them. Okay, let me see if I can just rein this in a little bit now and wrap this up. That was 10 different bags that could hopefully function, potentially function as haversacks, all under $20, all from the Sportsman's Guide Military Surplus section on the website. So one last thing, what I thought I would do is just tell you, um, out of these 10, what my two favorite bags are. We'll call it my favorite and my runner-up. We'll go with the runner-up first. I think the runner-up is this new German bag. I really like the looks of this thing. I think it's a great value at $15.29. Very well made and just um, it's a nice bag. But I think my number one favorite at two for $15.29, so under eight bucks a piece, is probably this Czechoslovakian rubberized bag, the like new ones, because I think it's a little nicer than the used one. So it's a little more money, maybe three more dollars or something like that. But I really like the design of this. It's very simple. I like the weatherproofing of it. And I just like the, uh, you know, I like the way it looks too, to be honest with you. So um, I, the only drawback to this one really is the thinness of this shoulder strap. But, you know, that's okay for me because I think traditionally they probably used a piece of rope anyway back in the day. So there you go. Um, hopefully this has accomplished my goal of kind of showing you, you know, what's available out there on, on the uh, Sportsman's Guide Military Surplus site concerning haversacks and, and how you can maybe you don't have to spend, you know, a lot of money and you can get a very functional haversack. Maybe maybe let you see, you know, what the details are of these things that you can't really tell online and hopefully maybe give you a glimpse of what sort of quality and condition you might expect from the uh, military surplus. Anyway, so... Once again, thanks to the folks at Sportsman's Guide for sending me these bags so I can show them to you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single video, just go to survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe and subscribe to my weekly email newsletter where every single week I'll send you an email with all the videos from the prior week plus any cool offers or information I think you might be interested in. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. 
I'll see you next time.